Hello, everybody. As people are joining in, I am going to weed just a little bit more because we are going to do um, some things a little different today. Um, I'm going to do a quick mic check. If somebody can just let me know if my mic is all good, ready to go, sound crystal clear. Just finishing peeling this off. Let's see. Is that a no on the mic? <laughs> let's see, let's see. Okay. I'm checking something. Hello, everybody. Kelly Walters here. Jenna is, um, she is doing something else today, which is going to be awesome for you guys to see when it comes. So I am filling in for this Thursday. We are going to make some stuff for the home. Um, I say stuff, but it's just going to be one thing. Um, Barbara, thanks so much. Uh, Renzo, thank you guys so much for letting me know that my mic is good. Um, I just want it to sound right. <laughs> I don't want it to be so, so crazy for you guys. Good morning, Dimitri. Okay. So, um, while I'm finishing this, sorry if it's a little annoying and loud, Today, we are going to make a pillow for the home. We're going to use four different colors. Um, we're going to use three different types of material. So um, this is flock. It says, it's fall, give thanks. I have the Red Harvest Glitter Flake. Um, if you've caught some of the other lives I've done, you guys know that I am just ecstatic about this color. It's a very unique, beautiful color, especially for fall. Um, and then we are going to also use Apple Ultra Weed. So this will be the outline around the pillow. Um, we're just gonna cut this off. I don't want to sit there and pull that apart. Um, so let's just quickly go over how it's gonna work today. It's just gonna be a little different. So. We're going to actually apply first. You are going to watch how pretty it turns out. And then I'm actually going to start from scratch. So I'm going to import the artwork into CADWorks Live. Um, now, this is something that I got off of the web. Um, I don't think this one was from Love SVG. Um, it might have been one I found. However, the format format of the art does look like um, SVG. So very easily could be that. I do have the file. Um, I can send that out. So if you want it, my email is Kelly with a Y, period Walters at stalls.com. Reach out. I'll send it to you. Um, but it is not something that you will find directly in CADWorks Live. It's not a template. It's just something you have to import in. But I'm going to show you how to do it. Add vector cut or add outlines, uh, cut lines, and then um, even show you how you can change up the colors so easily. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is show you the pillow. So I already have a pillow <laughs> in a pillow. Um, it is a linen. It has got like an oatmeal ivory hue to it with um, just a little bit of detail, you know, hemp detail around it. Now, this is a really nice quality pillow, you guys. I got it off of Amazon. It was came in a pack of two. Let me show you this. Um, it came in a pack of two. Uh, it was 21 bucks, I believe, for the two pieces. So you could either sell them as a set or you could break them up. Obviously, that's completely up to you. But this is a very, um, it's a very nice pillowcase. So it has a zipper. So my pillow is actually going to fit into there. I would... Um, prefer to do this on an 11 by 15 platen, but um, I either have a smaller one, I have the 6 by 10 or the 16 by 20, so 
this guy is going to work just perfect. Um, so yay. I've been wanting to do this design for a while and today is the perfect day. So, okay, you will find the link to the pillow in the comments, um, or excuse me, the pillow case in the comments. Okay, I went ahead and zipped this up. You don't need to zip it, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and just put this on the press. I do have one more color to quickly weed. Um, so it's easy when you are using heat transfer to really kind of only think of things that relate to apparel, right? Maybe a couple of other soft goods like koozies or bags. Um, you know, you can do purses, you can do wallets, but one easy avenue to kind of just quickly jump to is home decor. Um, you can actually do bathroom storage with, um, you know, just regular uh, permanent adhesive vinyl. Um, and then you could do hand towels. You could do other towels. You could do, um, I mean, like face towels, hand towels, and then same thing for washcloths, especially if you want a little bit of decoration. So just go to Walmart, Target, Amazon, look on the wholesale groups and just start expanding what you can apply to. So in this case, it was a pillowcase. But as we are breaking through all of the art, we are going to cut because I'm grabbing something. I am going to make this art again for this pennant. Um, now this was also off of Amazon, but I'm not applying on this today. I'm just cutting four specs on this. And I'm just gonna set that down because now I cannot reach my hook. <laughs> okay, I am almost done. So this is the second part of the leaves on the pillowcase. Sorry, you guys can't see me weeding this, but for um, the pennant that I just showed you, I will actually, I can weed on um, the heat press. And then that will at least give you guys a pretty decent angle to see what we're doing. Now, all of the time, okay, you're doing four colors. Kelly, how in the world do you match this up? So what I like to do is actually layer things on top first. So it gives me a good idea on how the artwork is going to look. And then it helps me kind of layer on top um, sheet by sheet what I am going to apply first. I found that has been the easiest for me. And of course, as you get going, then you can just start eyeballing where each transfer needs to go. And then, it, you know, it should just come together nicely. So I'm going to take you over to the press. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna just quickly adjust this one more second. All right, that gives me just a little bit, I like that angle just a little bit better. Alrighty, so obviously with the pillow, we dropped all of the hemp sides, right? We don't want that to be raised. I have um, gone ahead and pre-pressed this, but we're going to pre-press it again. Um, but with this hemp, everything was, was testing fine. The reason why I said the 11 by 15 platen earlier is because you could actually thread this over the platen and then everything would be off of, um, off and away from your, your heating element. So, okay, what I want to do first, you guys, is... This is our flock. I'm going to cut that puppy down because it is massive. And ultimately, this is the transfer that I want to apply first, I think. <laughs> um, I've gone back and forth between the leaves. Okay, so if that's where that hangs out, 
And then out of the two, oh, you can't see this. Hold on. I'm going to bring up this guy. Okay. So you guys, out of these two, um, this is the larger one. <laughs> They're just sticking to me. So this is the larger one. And then these just kind of fit in. So this might actually be the better transfer to start with first. And then I'll layer the green up. So let's just do it this way. Okay, so I've got my first one on there. Now, like I said, you guys, my pillow is gonna be a little bit smaller, so more than likely what I'm gonna have to do is actually um, do a couple of hits just by moving this pillow around. Okay, so that one is laid first. This one will come in second. Maybe not. Nope, I'll do this one second. Okay, so, and then third will be this. And this carrier is so sticky. So right now it's not going to be perfect. Um, and that is because the um, static is actually pulling the transfer down. So I'm not too happy where this is slightly touching, but because of all the others are going to actually be applied. Um, nope. <laughs> I'll show you. Give me a minute. So this is what it looks like thus far. And then this heart. Go a little further, a little further down. Comes like that. So that's what we are making today. And then we are going to turn around and um, also make it to where it's sized for a pinnet. Um, then you can use the same design multiple times and use it for different you know, items of the house. Okay, so because we have that lined up, the easiest thing to do now is just to get applying. So the way I do this is I just leave the first color down and then I just peel away the next. So now that is where I want it to be and I don't have to adjust it. So I'm actually at 320 um, because I originally thought I was going to do flock first. So I'm going to keep it there. This is ultra weed and ultra weed, you guys, it applies at 260 to 300 degrees. So we are much harder than what we need to be. This is a pillow. I don't intend on... Um, washing it. <laughs> it's a poly, uh, poly linen blend. Um, so, I mean, you could, but I don't know if you've ever washed a pillowcase, but they never turn out the way they should after that. So I am actually just going to go ahead and tack for four seconds. Um, and then as we go to apply, flock will be the next, next, and then I will start adjusting the temperature down. Um, just because if, if we don't need it to be at 320, then we don't need it to be at 320. Um, but in this case, it'll be just fine. All righty, everything is set, ready to go. I am adding my cover sheet over on top. My pressure is already set at a six. Nope. Okay. So the C, let's see, one side didn't wear the pillow. So like I said, um, I'm probably going to have to do a couple of hits just because my pillow is too small. Mm -hmm. going to quickly adjust my time because we don't need to apply for 16 seconds. Okay, here we go. And my press is not locked down, so that's why it's moving. 
All righty, let's see if that did it. Yep, much better. That one still needs to be tacked just a little bit, but like I said, we've got a long route to go. So putting it just back in the middle because the flock. Now here's the only, um, I'm just gonna say production. Uh, you know what, here I am switching it up again. Um, the only production issue is that flock is a cold peel. Okay, so as you guys see, I went ahead and just changed it again back to the green. I am going to just add this in here and make sure I don't have any hiccups when it comes to just where my art is going to go next. And it doesn't look like I do, so we are ready to rock and roll. Again, um, I'm going to slide the pillow down just a little bit more. That way when we go and we hit the press again, then we just have um, to tack down that other side just really quick. Do any of you guys already do home decor? Is this something that would be completely new for you? Is this something that is completely out of your element? I'm really curious to know because with the way Etsy is and personalization and really just, you know, bringing your family into your home, whether it is the names or anniversaries or birthdays, um, you know, it's so popular right now. I'm curious to see who is already doing home decor. And if you are, do you do, you know, blankets and pillows? Do you do bathroom type of stuff? Um, I have a friend of mine that actually has a word search in their bathroom. And um, I find it quite comical every time. I go over to her house. Okay, now that we are doing flock, I am upping the time on this. Again, we are still at 320, but um, flock applies for 15 to 20 seconds at 320 degrees. And like I said, it is a peel cold. Um, now for pillows, patterns would be really cool. Um, you could get plaid. Um, I am going to just let this sit on top of the floor for a second. I know you cannot see me. Um, so oh, eh, you can, you can. So plaid would be really cool. Um, yes, the burlap would be really cool to kind of mimic like textures and then really kind of just tie in the pillow together. Um, there's some really cool patterns online where you can just play with the colors a little bit and really get that um, unique one of a kind. Okay, so this isn't necessarily ice cold, but I'm just gonna peel slow. Now, okay, the next question might be, um, you're putting glitter flake on a pillow and glitter flake isn't the softest material. Well, in this case, to me, you guys, this is something where I, I probably wouldn't be cuddling up with this pillow. Because there's flock, this is so, so soft. Um, but you can obviously choose different types of materials if it's one that you really want to cuddle up and lounge with. I always say we live in our home. Um, I have two kids and one is um, what I call a tornado. <laughs> and then the other one is, um, you know, just sassy. So I try to make everything for living. In this case, this would be something that I would use as actually a decor piece. All right, so the final product we are going to add is the heart of the home, the Glitter Flake, the Red Harvest. Just to give you a little bit more contrast, 
Now I want to make sure that this is nice and sealed. So I'm going to change our time to 10 seconds. Um, I do see that some of that ultra weed just because it's hanging off of the pillow is just a little loose. So I will check that before we are done. Let's see. Hello, everybody. Hey, Candy, thanks so much for the design idea that you like it. <laughs> okay, so we all love a good peel and Glitter Flake just comes off so nice. So, okay, let's go take this over to the front. That way you can see all of the ultra weed looks really nice into the garment. Or I guess pillow. Hey guys, okay, so this is our final product. Um, I, I adore this, this is gonna have to find a place in my house. Um, like I said, I have kids and we live in our home, so it'll have to be a special place. Um, this is going to look awesome on a pillow, especially when you put a pillow inside and you can actually bring it to life. I'm gonna switch views really fast. I just want you to see this up close and personal. So <laughs> you have, there we go, we're getting better people. Um, you have matte material, which is the ultra weed. That's the apple and the Kelly green. And then you have flock, so we're bringing in some nice soft texture with that black. You can't really see it this close up, but trust me, it feels almost like it's actually the pillow. Um, and then you have just a little bit of glitter flake, just giving you a little, ooh, there we go, little extra pop and sparkle. Um, you guys, I have talked about this Red Harvest glitter over and over time again, and it is, it's a beautiful color. If you haven't used it, find a way. <laughs> There's, find a design. Um, even if you do not like glitter, just, just put a heart on a t-shirt. It'll do well. <laughs> um, okay, so now that you've seen the completed project, I am going to show you how we got here. Okay. So we're gonna screen share again, guys. Um, Candy, I believe so. Um, here, let me just pop your comment up really fast. So earlier I said, I believe it's a Love SVG. Um, they, their art is very, very, very easy to work with. And that just looks like something um, that, they, that they have. They do a great separation of colors. They make the weeding most of the time. Very, very easy. So Candy, I believe it is Love SVG. Um, but if you cannot find it, like I said, don't hesitate to ask for that art and I'll make sure that, you know, you, you get your hands on it. Okay, so, whoops, there we go. Let's share CADWORKS Live. Okay, you guys, I have got so many screens, so. There we go. I'm gonna keep my face up. <laughs> I'm gonna keep my face up here. Uh, that way, um, it's not just a screen. Let's see. All right, so what the, what you do first is you go to CADWORKS Live, that's C-A-D-W-O-R-X Live.com, okay? Um, go in there, create an account, log in. It is very, very easy to set up and very easy to use. The next thing that you do, once you've logged in, it's going to ask if you want to create a new design, import, um, I always click on new for some reason. 
I, I don't know why, even if I'm going to import, there's just something about seeing a white clean screen that just helps my mind. So up here at the top left, we're gonna, we are going to go to file and then we're going to scroll down to import. Now, um, these are all the things that I have imported over the years. I've got 24 pages worth. It's a lot. Um, now, as you can see, that design is right here where my mouse is, but I said I'm going to show you from the beginning to the end. Okay, so I created a folder that said live. I also wanted to show you um, this other really cute fall vibes one that you could do for the pennant. Um, you could do for a hand towel, a tea towel. Um, it would be really cute on a sweatshirt as well. Make it all flock. We also have um, a new product that just launched called Foam. And um, that would be another one that would be amazing on a really, really soft and plush garment. Okay, so here we go. It's all fall. Give thanks. Or it's fall. Give thanks is what it was called. I'm pretty sure just by that name, it is Love SVG. Okay, we click open. Let's see. Okay, this is huge. Um, as you can see, it's just one giant file. So for my viewing purposes, you can either zoom to fit. Um, just know that you are still working in, as you can see what I'm highlighting is, it's 70. <laughs> 70 inches wide. Um, now, obviously that's not counting the blank space. So, or that is counting the blank space. All right, right now we can't do anything with it because it is not, it's not vectored. If you come down here to the bottom right hand of the screen, um, this says wireframe. If you ever import something in CADWorks Live and you have no idea if it's vectored, well, there's two ways that we can tell. So the first one is the wireframe. If you click that, there's nothing. There's no blue lines, it's blank. The other is that this button right here is called convert to vector and it is highlighted. So that means you need to turn it into a vector file. So I click convert to vector. This is the easiest part. There is no background, so we don't need to select a color. Color, I hit next. Now there's four colors in this art, so make sure make sure you select them all. So one, there's a lighter, there's a darker, and then there is a black. All right, all four colors are selected. Then we hit next, wait for the magic to happen. Sometimes this takes just a little bit longer, and then sometimes in a blink of an eye, it is done and created. So I'm glad my internet is staying strong for you guys and it got done quick. Okay, we hit. Okay, now, so let's just double check and make sure everything is good to go. The first thing you see is it says convert to vector. It is no longer highlighted. That's sign number one. Sign number two is now you can see all of the cut lines. All right, so for what I did, because if I am um, visually wanting to see how art is going to come out, I like to change um, the colors. I like to import the pattern. I like to do everything that I possibly can so we can see or I can see exactly what we are going to create. So the first thing that we need to do, because this is all one, one logo, is we need to break it apart by colors. So we went to shaping and then four down is break apart by colors. All right, so now if I want to move this out, I can. If I want to put a flower there, maybe a turkey leg, a turkey, <laughs> I could put that there. Um, let's just hit undo. That way it goes right back to the middle. Okay. Um, we know that it's fall gift thanks of staying black. Um, I did not have this like, I don't know, light olive pea green color. So we're going to change it to what I had. One was Kelly green. And then the other one was 
apple. Um, I actually think that is a beautiful combination. Um, just what I had on hand, I made work. So we're just gonna lighten it up. Let's we'll use this color that because that's more what we created. Now let's say you want to see just a little bit of texture. Um, I am going into fill. Here we go. I'm going into texture. And then let's see. We're just going to show you a couple of things here. So this is the red harvest. Let's actually do this pattern first. So what I've done is just done a quick screenshot of a couple of patterns that are available, um, you know, on stalls.com. And then I've created my own little thumbnails here. So what's going to happen is once I click on that, it's, it's going to change the color of the heart. So because that is uber tiny, I'm just going to change it scale to two. Let's actually keep just increasing this size. Okay, so I'm happy with that. I hit okay. And then now my heart is textured. Um, so you could do leopard, you could do, you know, plaid. Like I've said, you guys can just let your imagination run free on this. Okay, I'm going to make sure we don't have any lines. There we go. And then now you can see that that is pretty much identical to how um, how our pillowcase turned out. The only thing is I didn't change the black flock um, because I, I don't need to see the texture on that. All righty. Now, when you go to cut this in vector cut, it is not going to show you this color. It's going to show something different. So again, like I said, you guys, visually, I want to see everything come together. All right, the next thing we need to do is just highlight this or select all. And then I know I can't go bigger than 13 and a half or I don't want to go bigger than 13 and a half wide. It automatically adjusts it. Again, if this is too tiny, we're gonna zoom to fit. I'm gonna quickly check questions, you guys, to make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, cool, staying with me. Okay, now for me, I need to zoom out just, oop, I didn't select that heart. The undo button is my best friend, anybody else? Okay, so let's go back to zoom out. a Couple more times. All right, my eyes are happy with that. So the next thing we need to do is I use Vector Cut for my cutting software. It is um, a plugin that is available with CADWorks Live. So instead of saving this, opening up your next cutting system or um, cutting software and then importing it in that way, this just sends it and communicates with each other. And for me, the less buttons I have to click, the better. Alrighty, so now here at the bottom, you're going to see that, no, you're not. <laughs> so right at the bottom of the screen, you guys, in my downloads, um, you can actually just click on, um, on the file. It's going to open. So from here, I am going to stop the screen share on that. And then, I am going to screen share my vector cut. Okay, so here we are. Make sure everything is mirrored. And now all we have to do is select the first material that we want to cut. So, I'm popping my side view up. Well, I was trying to see if I could remove um, my face, but I can't. <laughs> One more. Okay. Well. Okay. So, 
I just got a quick message, you guys, that um, Stalls is having a Facebook glitch. So if you have any questions, then we will just make sure that we get them answered as soon as this live is done. Hopefully Facebook will get um, get its act together <laughs> and, and we will um, just be able to make sure we get you taken care of. So for any reason, if you have a specific question and you do not get it answered, my email is kelly with a Y period walters at stalls.com. Just know we will do our best to make sure that you guys are not left hanging. Okay, so let's get to cutting um, cutting this art. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going. <laughs> where am I going with this? Okay, I keep trying to pull up um, myself again, but you're not going to see me. So um, let's just do it one by one. So the first thing that we need to do is I'm going to start with flock. It is the first one that I cut um, previously. So all of my settings are good to go. Okay, um, quickly, I'm just gonna show you the materials. Welcome back to the front view. Okay, so let's just go over our rolls before we start cutting you guys. Um, Ultra Weed, this is the Kelly Green. It is a true Kelly Green. It's nice and bright and one of my favorite colors. Um, the second is this apple color that we used. It's on the verge of a lime. It's not lime, it's not very bright, but when it is combined with a Kelly Green or a forest, there's a very nice contrast. And, and it's a, just a good way to brighten up something without being in your face or neon. Okay, and then the next is the lovely Red Harvest Glitter Flake. Um, and this was the CAD Cut Ultra Weed. This is the CAD Cut Gitter, Glitter, Gitter, Glitter Flake in Red Harvest. And again, you guys, you know how much I think I've talked about this 14 times today. Um, I just absolutely love the color, the hues in this glitter. And then last but not least is our flock, which here just looks like a standard black material, but it has a really nice uh, plush velour like texture to it. Um, I find it very easy to work with, but within reason. You cannot get really, really detailed with it. Um, cursive letters can be a little difficult just because of the curves and then just weeding them. Um, so it is better in a block font, but I am always willing to try something. So, alrighty, the first thing that we're gonna do is just insert our flock material and I use a, a Roland GS24. I will come around to the front and um, just get this all set up. But now that we've gone over the materials, we've already heat applied, we're just gonna cut and um, pretty much be done. I, I can weed a little bit if you guys wanna see a little bit of weeding. Um, and then I'm not going to apply our lovely pennant. So. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Is I didn't measure the pennant. I was going off of sizing. So handy dandy tape measure. Um, I think I wanna do max 10 inches in width. And let's see. Eh, we really can only do uh, 10 inches in height, so we will quickly see which one is going to adjust for on that. Um, I'm going to adjust my artwork just really quick. Let's see. Good thing I caught that because I would have had um, a very large logo for that pennant. Um, by the way, those pennants came in a pack of four. There's a ton. If you don't want to use um, the pennant, you could 
use a canvas, go get a package of like the five canvases from Michael's. I'm saying five because I think that's like the 10 by 10. Um, so that just gives you, let's see, max 10. That just gives you some other ideas. Um, you could also maybe paint the canvas. We'll just turn it into an art project, you guys. We'll just get as crafty and creative as possible. Um, okay, I have a couple of questions, so let's just quickly. LL, um, I believe the art is from Love SVG. If you cannot find it on their website, then definitely um, like comment below and I'll make sure that I get your email and send it to you. Or when the live is done, just scroll back just a little bit. And I've given my email a couple of times. I'll give it at the very end as well, just to make things in life just a little bit easier. Okay. So Maria, um, loosens the grip and it messes it up. Okay. Let's chat after about that because um, there's a couple of questions that I have. Um, how fresh are your rollers? Have they been changed? Are we, is your cutting strip okay? Um, for me, oops, sorry, I touched the mic. Um, with the Roland, I am using 70 grams of force for cutting my ultra weed. Um, now I've cut glitter flake, flock, thermofilm, ultra weed, metallic. I mean, I've cut just about all of our materials with this particular blade. Um, since I don't have a production environment, um, I'm not cutting all day long. So there's a couple people, um, not a couple people, a lot of my customers um, would have multiple blades and then they would just start going through a um, system when one blade would start to get dull that would become a glitter flake blade. Um, so now that we went down this rabbit hole, I'll definitely make sure that we do some troubleshooting, whether it's with myself or the QE team and get you taken care of. Um, last question, I did see one. Okay, the software I'm using for designing is called CADWORKS Live. However, it is art that I've just imported. So unfortunately, I didn't do any designing on this. I just imported it and added, um, made sure we had cut lines. Okay, so let's go back to cutting. Um, all righty. I need to pull up my file just one more time and then I will go back to screen share you guys. All righty, here we go. Let's turn, eh, still won't let me do it with this one. That's okay. You can just look at the, hold on. How do I get you? How do I get it back up? Well, there we go. Sorry, I minimized the screen and then lost everybody and I didn't want to pull a Tuesday. So, okay, here we are. I'm zooming in so I can see what I'm working with. Um, I have adjusted the art for the size of the pennant. The first thing we need to do is a mirror. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and select the black flock because I know that's what we are using first. Um, I wanna maximize my material as much as possible um, because I know that this is going to be taller than it is wide. I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly rotate. I'm gonna get really picky. Okay, so I have the art. You guys see this okay? Yeah, there we go. I have the art ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and load the equipment or the material. All righty, so as I step in front, so with this, I just wanna make sure that my material is correctly set within the pin trollers. Um, this is the, the last material I cut before we had applied. So everything is pretty much already ready to go. Um, for me, I'm 
let's see, my force is at 90 grams. And then I'm just gonna keep this on here because you don't really need to see me go through um, vector cut and hitting center cut. <laughs> So for the most part, you guys can watch how fast it is. The heart went within a couple of seconds. The leaves went within a couple of seconds. So it goes very quick. I'm always losing my scissors. Hmm. You guys, where did I put my scissors? Okay, I found them. <laughs> this is one of those things I just need to have it attached at my hip. Um, now I'm also going to cut my glitter flake at 90 grams. So what I'm going to do is just pull out the um, flock. And then I'm going to do my glitter flake next. And then we'll finish strong with ultra weed. All right, so I'm just gonna quickly trim my material. Save this, you just never know. This is a really decent size. And um, you know, flock comes in a longer roll. It's not gonna be 15 inches like um, your ultra weed. So if you're just doing one design at a time, then just make sure you save scraps like this, just because, you know, like this could be a paw for some sports, it could be a horseshoe. You could do somebody's initial and do a really cute monogram on um, you know, a smaller pillow or a towel. Okay, not that, that you guys don't know to keep that, but just in case. All right, now I have a tiny baby a strip for glitter flake. So this is what I'm going to be using as I don't get caught up here. Now for this one, these are really nice and spaced out towards the end, but this is a tiny piece of scrap. So I need to just come down here, set that. Let's go ahead and set that system back up. Now on CADWORKS Live, what I'm going to do is just select the heart. I'm gonna go ahead and rotate it. And put it right down there. Now I need to adjust my width. <coughs> I knew this would happen. Pardon me. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and we are adjusting to go to the edge. It's gonna tell me how much space I have to work with, which is 3.4 inches. And then as you can see, it adjusts my width already. So we're done, ready to go, send a cut. By the time I have this pulled back in front, <laughs> it's done, I believe, maybe not. Yep. <laughs> I didn't even hear it finish, so. It's much smaller, but very, very cute in size. So since this one is just so tiny, I'm just gonna go ahead and weed that. Okay, and then the last two are our ultra weed. So I'm gonna pull this one out. As you can see, I have just a little bit left, just enough to go ahead and get either another pillow um, done, or in this case, we're going to make it for something else. So in CADWORKS Live, I'm not going to show you guys this just because it's going to take me a little bit, not, not longer, but it'll take me just as long to show you versus just getting it done. Not that I don't want to show you. All right, like I said just a second ago, I like to cut my ultra weed um, at 70, 70 grams. Um, I have found that for me, that is the easiest way to weed it. I don't have any issues with like weird cut lines. 
Let's see now. Rotate. I'll show you. I say that and I'm just going to go ahead and share my screen again. All right. So we need to adjust our width one more time. 13.5. I'm going to flip this guy around. Quickly adjust my force. All right. We are good to go. Like I said about this art, even though there's four colors, um, because of how they have or how the art is created, the weeding time is very minimal. So you can really just maximize your value because you're not doing a pillow with one color, you're doing it with four. You've got three different types of materials. And whether, and you know, instead of saving time on weeding an intricate design, yeah, it's gonna take you just a couple of extra seconds to go ahead and apply it, but you know, you can still charge a, a pretty penny for a pillow like that. Let's see. Okay, so the apple is done. I'll just go ahead and bring this back. I need a light back here. And then our last color is the Kelly Green. I just checked to make sure it was in fact called Kelly Green. Yes, it is called Kelly Green. Um, I was pretty certain that that's what the color was. And it was, I believe, released last month. Um, I don't know what month it is or day. I just know I'm here. <laughs> Alrighty, so I shouldn't have to change the force on this because we're still at 70. We're still at 70 grams. And then same thing for um, the width. It's still at 13.4. I didn't change um, the rollers at all. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do is select this CAD work or the Kelly Green. Adjust just a little bit. I'm going to send it to cut. Okay, I'm going to exit out of that screen because we should be done. And then I was weeding this as I was waiting for the last one to get done, just to show you guys how quick and easy this is. Um, right now I am just using my finger to go in and, and pull out the cavities because they're pretty decent, they're decently thick. Let's see, miss this G. Okay, so like I said, you guys, all of our art is done it's cut all you have to do is finish weeding and then apply it just like i showed you at the very beginning with the pillowcase i would do the exact same thing with the pennant again this is the pennant that i will be using for that you'll just see it on a different platform um so again thank you guys so much as always, for tuning in to watching how we made this, how we created it, how we cut, um, and then, of course, how we, you know, just made it come to life. Um, let me think if there's anything else. Um, I am seeing a couple of responses for the art. Um, let's see. I'm reading. I'm reading, guys. Bear with me. Lars Day. <laughs> Dale, that is awesome. I have not heard of that yet. I might, might have to make a t-shirt with that, with that saying, but, um, you guys just really quick because it's, it is Thursday. Um, Dale award goes to the best description of a weekday is called blurs day. So, um, that is, that just made, that made my day. <laughs> Valdez, awesome on going live, making some shirts. 
Um, I know my friends are always hypnotized by, you know, just the, the whole process, even though it is fairly simple. So, um, Karen, <laughs> so can you see, can you see my, can you see my chart, my cheat sheet? Let's see. Okay. This is actually a removable, um, wall decal that has the breakdown of a lot of our materials. So um, this is something that if you wanted to create your own document, you could upload it in, uploaded it. You could upload it into stall services and we could print one for you. So maybe you have um, specific applications that you do. Maybe you do sublimation. Um, this is something that you could just make in your own format and then we could print it and send it to you done, ready to go. If you don't have an eco-solvent printer or something like that. So yes, this, this is my handy dandy um, cheat sheet. It does have both stalls and some transfer express products. And then above it is actually, I don't know if you caught my live from Tuesday, but I kind of reviewed a little bit of, um, transfer express and goof proof and talking about their marketing kit. And that is a piece that is actually in their marketing kit. So you could put it on a wall. Um, you could put it on a door because my heat press is right. I'm letting you into my home guys. Um, because my heat press is right next to that. Then, um, Oh, hold on. So then I can see it. And then of course, um, it just is a really good memory. We have new materials launching all the time and um, it's just a good refresher, even though I'm heat pressing daily now. <laughs> so, um, okay, you guys, thanks again so much for tuning in. I will see you guys on Tuesday. Um, as you can see, um, if you, oh, nope, not that one. Um, if you have any questions, especially on the artwork, then this is my email below. You can reach out and I hope you have a great rest of the week. And um, yeah, that's it. Happy Blur's Day. Bye.